This is how you can earn and upgrade Jalen Ramsey to an 89 overall in Madden 24 ASAP. Now, Soul Sister family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this one are having a wonderful start to your day. And without further ado, let's get into it and talk about Jalen Ramsey and how you can upgrade him. Okay, step number one, by far the easiest step of them all. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go on over to the play tab and you're gonna scroll on over to your unopened packs. And every single person who logs into Madden 24 Ultimate Team is gonna get this pack right here. It's called the Season 1. One starter pack and it is necessary you open this up this will give you your starter Jalen Ramsey so go to your roundup and packs open this up I know this is a simple tip but for a lot of people watching this video you might not have known this is where your Jalen Ramsey starts off so we're gonna get a mutt tip that don't really matter we don't need that I appreciate it though EA Sports and then you're gonna get the 83 Jalen Ramsey now to be honest as an 83 this card isn't too bad but wait until you get him to an 89 the man is gonna have 88 speed he's gonna have 87 acceleration and some very, very nice stats across the board. He's got 90 man coverage at an 89 overall player. That's very, very nice, boys. So let's talk about what you need to be doing to make progress on getting this guy from his lower overall 83 all the way to that 89. Okay, now the way you upgrade this card is very simple. Go to the upgrades tab and essentially what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to pick up these Jalen Ramsey upgrade tokens. As you can see, I personally don't have any right now, but let me show you what you do to get these tokens. There are four of them you're gonna need to get them all the way to the 89. Now, the way you earn these is very intuitive. Very, very simple. What you're going to do is you're going to go on over to the live events tab for Madden 24, and you're going to go to the season one field pass. So we're going to go to live events and we're going to go to objectives right here under the season one tab. And that's going to bring me to the season one field pass. That's what it's called. And as you can see, when we take a look at the rewards right here and we scroll a little bit on over to the right, you guys will start to see some of these Jalen Ramsey tokens. So at level number 15, bang, here is the first Jalen Ramsey token. When you get to level 15, you'll get a pack inside that pack will contain a Jalen Ramsey token you add that to the player and that's slowly going to increase his overall as we continue churning through our levels bang level number 30 you're going to get another token as we continue scrolling you guys will see level 41 is going to give you the third token and as we keep on going through this field pass all the way over at level number 55 this is the final Jalen Ramsey token this will get the man all the way up to the 89 and obviously as you pick up the first pick up the second pick up the third token you'll add them to the card so he'll go up to an 85 he'll go up to an 86 then he'll go up to an 87 and slowly but surely the player will become better and better and of course you can use him on your team while you're getting those upgrades but ultimately to get Jalen Ramsey to the 89 open up the starter pack pick up the 83 and then it's time to grind then it's time to get progress on our field pass let's talk about how we can do that though now I just want to preface this by saying this isn't going to be my in-depth level up guide I'm going to make a super super in-depth level up video pretty soon so if you want to stay on the lookout for that all you need to do is hit that red subscribe button it's free to do you can unsub at any time I basically just post Madden 24 Ultimate Team tips and tricks on this channel. So if you like this video, I think you'll like my future content. And subscribing to the channel is a free way you can support me. So if you want to, that'd be awesome. If not, that's cool. Don't worry about it. But like I was saying, the in-depth level up guide will be coming soon. Let me just give you some general and I guess kind of basic tips that you're going to want to follow to get XP quickly and what I've done to get to level 7, which is pretty good so far for Ultimate Team. Now, the first thing that I really like to do when it comes to getting XP is actually not focusing on the objectives you guys see right here. These stats objectives are going to take you so, so long to complete. It's not worth going into a solo challenge and just throwing touchdowns or going into a solo challenge and just scoring points. Because as you can see, you're only getting 1,500 XP. Then you get 3,000 XP. Then you get 5,000, which in the grand scheme of things is not much at all. Like the 1,500 plus the 3,000 plus the 5,000 XP wouldn't even get me all the way to level nine. And I would need to score 5,000 points to get all that XP done. So honestly, this is kind of counterintuitive. I know a lot of people People probably think, okay, I want my XP. Let me take a look at the stats. Let me get these done. No, that's actually not what you should do because this takes too long to complete. There's more efficient ways of getting your experience. And one of those more efficient ways is most certainly your daily objectives. Now, this is something you're going to want to make sure you do every single day. Honestly, you're probably not even going to need to sweat this. You're probably not even going to need to think about it because by just playing some solos, maybe playing an online game, playing some house rules, this will get completed naturally. All you're going to need to do is get 15 tackles, 350 passing yards and score 10 points. Of course, if you quickly just want to take a peek on this tab and make sure you've gotten everything done for the day, I'd say that's a good idea and probably something worth doing because you're really just going to want to ensure this is done every single day. Most of the time, you won't even need to worry about it or think about it. So now you're probably thinking, Swift, what in the world am I meant to do for XP then? Well, what you should be doing and what I would recommend you do is getting progress on the headliner field pass or any other field passes in this game. If you're watching this video a little bit later on, there might be other field passes in Madden and 
these field passes are where you can really get some of the big XP. Now, also brief side note, because some people don't know how to change this. If you want to change your field pass and take a look at other objectives, hold down the left trigger, move up and down with the stick, and then release the left trigger when you're on the field pass you want. So we want to go to headliners. We'll hold the left trigger. I will release it when it's on the headliner field pass. And then we click X to go to objectives. Just want to make sure everyone's on the same page with that because there's some people who might not know. But yeah, like I was saying, let me show you guys how much XP you're going to get from the headliner field pass. So at level number three right here, boys, you're going to be getting 30,000 season XP. Now, remember how much XP we were getting for our 500 touchdown passes? It was only about 5,000. This is 30,000 XP at level number three. Level number seven, another 30,000 XP, fellas. 11, another 30,000 XP. 13, another 30,000 XP. 16, 25,000 XP. This is what you want to focus on. These objectives in the headliner tab or any other field passes in Madden are where you really get the big bucks, where you really get the big XP numbers. So what I'll personally do is I'll go to the objectives for the headliner field pass and try and knock these out. Because of course, I'm trying to get progress on the headliner field pass so I can then get these XP tokens. I know it's kind of confusing, but this is where you're really going to want to focus your efforts. So what should you be doing? Well, I would recommend you do these challenge objectives 110%. Go to your solo challenges, play through the headliner solos. That is a non-negotiable. That's going to give you a couple of levels in the headliner pass and will probably get you some more XP. Then next up, they have pass for 4,000 yards with a headliner player in your lineup. Before you do these solos, what I recommend you do is go to the auction block and buy like a gold headliner player. It doesn't really matter what card you pick up, but pick up like a gold headliner, put him as a starter, put him as a backup. Just make sure he is in your lineup. He is going to need to be in your lineup. If you don't put a headliner card in your lineup, you won't get progress on these stats. So it's very, very important that before you do your solos, before you play online, you just make sure you have a headliner in your lineup so you can get this progress. And there you go. That's another 5,500 headliner XP. Then next up, there's some sets right here. To be honest with you, boys, none of these sets are super, super effective. I think some of the master sets like Kenny Pickett, Jock, and Cameron Curl, you can actually do these and break even or make a little bit of profit. So if you want to do those sets, you can do those and that'll make your coins back. If you don't have enough coins to do those set, honestly, you probably just got to do the 74 to 75 gold headliner player pack. You're actually going to lose a little bit of coins when you do this, which is too bad. But ultimately, you do get a nice amount of XP. If you do this 10 times, I think you probably end up losing about like 20,000 coins, which is too bad. But I would say it's worth it, to be honest. So go through, do this set, try and snipe these cards at the cheapest price possible. You should be able to get every single card for this set for about 1,000 coins. And then you'll sell off the 74. You'll lose a little bit, but honestly, it's probably worth doing. Then finally, the only other objectives in here are house rules and solo battles. So for house rules, if you want to play house rules games, this is super self-explanatory. If you don't want to play house rules, it's up to you. You don't necessarily need to. And then solo battles is the final thing. I have yet to do that. But honestly, I would say the non-negotiables are these two. These are the two most important missions in Madden 24 right now. Doing these two missions is going to get you all the way up to level number seven, I'm pretty sure, and give you all that season XP, which is what we want to see. So ultimately, that's how you're going to get XP quickly and upgrade your Jalen Ramsey. I'll probably make a more in-depth video talking about leveling up in the Nosto distant future. But yeah, that's what you need to do to get Jalen Ramsey from the lower overall 83 all the way up to the 89 overall player. If you want to check out some more content in this game, talking about how you can get your team captain player and upgrade him to an 85 in the quickest way possible, check out this video that's on my hand right here. I think you'll enjoy that. And if you've already seen that video, be sure to leave a like on this one. I mean, why not? You made it to the end. I uh, just scroll down, drop a like for your boy. And until next time, boys, I'm out. Peace.